As you can see, the blinky light is flashing red, indicating an error or some type of issue. If we now look down at the control panel, that is going to indicate what the issue is. In this particular case, if you look at the control panel, you'll see all those zeros and one of them is flashing. The flashing one indicates the ink cartridge in the back of the machine that is either low on ink or is out of ink, indicating the ink chip needs to be reset. So we're going to grab a hold of our resetter. The resetter is located over by the emergency stop switch on the back of the machine. And to reset the chip, we simply open the doors, raise the lever, pull the cartridge out. Now, these ink cartridges are required by an Epson printer in order to be able to function. We've made dummy cartridges so that we can reset them as opposed to a true Epson cartridge which would require total replacement of at least the ink reading chip. Here is the ink chip right here. What we're simply going to do is we are going to match up the ink chip to the pins on the resetter. We simply take this match it up at the bottom and press it in the light will flash red and then become steady green steady green indicates that that ink chip has been reset now we simply take that cartridge and we place it back in the machine being careful not to jam it we want to push it in snug but we don't want to jam it in because we don't want to ruin the contacts that are in the machine that make contact with that ink chip. You will notice that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ink cartridges, as well as a little door down at the bottom here where we have a maintenance tank. Each one of those has an ink chip. If you're going to reset one ink chip, don't waste your time doing just that one. That just means the other ones will be going low or running out of ink right behind that one. So you might as well reset all nine chips at the same time. You will notice that I reset the third cartridge over on the left hand side of the machine as we face the back of it. If we now walk back to the front of the machine and take a look at the control panel, you will notice that it's the third one over from left to right. Now a lot of people would think that that would be the third one over on the side of the machine where the control panel is. In reality, these are actually reversed. So the four that are on the left are the four that are over by your color ink pod, and the four on the right are the four that are behind the white ink pod. Again, when you reset them, reset all of them at the same time. Now your machine is probably going to go into a non-genuine message saying that we're using the non-genuine cartridges so we want to clear that. So to clear it again I'm going to hit the forward button five times up, three, four, five, and I'm going to hit select for yes and then I'm going to hit the forward button up five times again, one, two, three, four, five, and I am going to accept this the machine will now reset itself and go into a normal ready status. 
Occasionally the machine may come up with a message saying no MNT TNK, means no maintenance tank, at which point in time just go behind underneath the white ink pod and just pull the maintenance tank out a little bit and reseat it. It just means that the printer is not finding that contact and that will allow that error message to go away.